Hi everyone, Paul and Tasha Scale Modeler, welcome to another At The Bench update. So, we've left the sofa for a little while, um, I will do an update on that, but the sofa has gone on the shelf for a little bit to make way for this. Uh, myself and I have just started stocking these tan model kits, so I took one, thought I'll build it straight away. Great publicity, I'm not going to lie, I'll beat around the bush. And also, it just looks an absolutely brilliant model, something I've wanted to build from the first um, First time I saw it. So Lee's already done the review. Looks absolutely stunning kit. I've started building it a few days ago and this is the first update. So uh, we'll see where we've got at. So basically everything's inside the fuselage now, as you can see. Um, it's closed up, it's not glued, it's, it's temporarily pegged together. The fuselage is going to close up absolutely great. There's no real joints. Let me just move my camera a little bit so you can see. There we go, that's better. There's no real joints, there's a little gap there, but it soon closes up. A little bit of pressure. No problem there, no problem at the front. And again, no problem on top. All the front, that's just black paint in there from where I've sprayed it inside. And like I say, we temporarily pegged it together just to show you guys. And if I crack it apart gently, like so we can see inside. So there's one side of the fuselage. So we painted it black, we dry brushed it, a little bit of a light grey wash. Uh, the other side has got everything in it. So we've got all the cameras, all six of them. Two either side, one facing down, one facing forward, one at the uh, port side and one facing straight down just in front of the cockpit. Uh, cockpit tint, it's simple. The instrument panel's not the greatest, I'm missing up the uh, shroud off there. Uh, the seat tin, there's no harnesses with the kit. And this is something I've been considering the past few days. Should I build it completely out of the box or should I add some harnesses? And it's screaming at me to add harnesses, but I want to build it out of the box. So I think we're going to leave it be. We're just going to build it completely out of the box and out. I'm going to buy all the colour call outs, everything that's with the kit I've gone by so far. So I've not double checked anything like I normally do research online. We've literally just put everything in there. So like I said, all the cameras are in, they've got the lenses on the front. Again, all been painted, dry brushed, given an oil wash, and away you go. You can't really see a lot of it anyway, but I did it so you everybody could see. Wheel bay's in, a little bit simplified. Uh, needs painting up as well. I think we've got a couple of little bits and bobs to remove in there, but we'll get to them later. To be honest, I think they're meant to be there. That's one thing I do need to research. Intakes are there. Uh, there's no actual physical engine as such. And you've got the exhaust burner out the back. And that's it. So, like I said, the cockpit, although it's simple, I've seen a lot worse out of the box. It was just painted up, dry brushed. Uh, some of the um, buttons that were picked out with the dry brushing. I didn't bother with any colours. Again, you can't really see a lot of it when it's buttoned up because it's hidden down the sides. See, it was painted up. Again, using all the colour references in the book. And that's it. And like I say, that was the only thing where we should have some harnesses screaming for them. So once some aftermarket comes out for this, I'll build another one and we'll put some aftermarket on it. Like I say, this is completely out of the box so far. And uh, I can't fault it at all. The fit is absolutely superb. We just get that fusion arms back together again. Clicks in. Like so. And like the top seams. Once this is clamped up and glued, which I'm going to do later on. We're going to have no real dramas. It closes up around the back really nice. But this is Tan Model's second kit. That's great. The only little bit of pressure we've got is here, but there's that much stuff there. That you're bound to get a little bit of obstruction, but it's not pushing it out. It just needs pushing in to get the scene. Nothing too harsh. But we'll get a few clamps on there. Clamp it all together. Job done. All these camera bays have covers on the top. Uh, there's a plastic cover here. I'm not sure why I need to look at that. There's a dome on the front. Which again, I probably could focus. There we go. And uh, there we go. So really can't fault the build at all. It's a stunning looking kit. The surface detail on the model itself is great. We've got some covers to go over here. And the air brakes to go on. Um, instructions have been good. I think we've had, there's a couple of parts have been mislabeled. Um, but other than that, excellent. The colour call outs are great. I love how on every page uh, each colour is listed 
so it saves going back and forward through the page. I love that part. I think it's absolutely excellent uh, addition to the instructions. Um, very clear, concise instructions. Re again, really, really can't fault them. You've got the option to open the camera base up, which I didn't choose. I don't want to do that. I want to keep them closed. Um, and where are we at now? This is where we're at right now. Everything's in there. Ready to go. That's in. All the cameras are in for at this stage. Got the glass nose to go on the front, which won't go on just yet. We'll wait until we've got all the fuselage seams done. And then we're on to intakes, wings, uh, horizontal stabilizers, etc. And the cat quick build, I'm not gonna take that long to build at all. So in the next bit, we'll come back uh, probably just after we go all the wings and whatnot attached to the fuselage, we'll come back, have a look at it then. Then we'll mask it all up, then we'll get the primed, come back for the paint job. Uh, camera scheme, every one of these I've seen so far has been done on a metal finish. And although there's some great ones there, I really want to do a camo version. So I'm thinking this one, the only close up camera, that one there. So this is the. Uh, no, it wasn't that one. My beg your pardon, it was that one. Sorry. US Air Force from Michigan National Guard. That's the one I'm thinking of doing. Either that or this one uh, from the Netherlands. Uh, I'm not sure on a camera that I'd have to look through. It looks a bit too dark. I do like this colour. Same colour I did my Dragonfly in. So I'm thinking that colour. Uh, like I say, every other one's from Metal Finish. I want to do something slightly different, and that's what we're probably going to go for. So, yeah, really enjoying the build. It's what I've been building oh, since I got my hands on it on, oh, I don't know, two, three days ago. Nothing else has been built. All the other builds are on hold at the minute. Uh, I'm going to get it all buttoned up, glued together, and then it's going to sit on the shelf for a couple of days, let all the glue dry fully. Then we'll come back, fill it, etc. Um, what I'll probably do is, once it is all uh, glued, Mm, no, maybe not. No, I was going to say we'll come back, but I think it'd be a pointless video to be honest. I can report on that when we come back to the wings. You can see it all filled, ready to go. Once that's few glued, go on the shelf for a few days. I'm going to probably start my car build. I think I've been itching to build that thing. Uh, maybe, or we'll get the super done. We'll see. I'll be back with an update soon anyway. And you'll also see a build of a minion. I'm going to build this little guy. Um, so we'll have a little video of him up. Only a short one. Showing a bit of that and then a bit of painting and whatnot, and that's it. So, there you go, just a quick eight minute video. Uh, what's on my bench in a minute? This TAM model RF84 Thunderflash reconnaissance, uh, great kit. If you want one, um, we've got them at www.umpretail.com. Uh, and certainly, I highly recommend it. It's a great kit. So, there you go. So, thanks for watching. Catch you guys around, and I'll see you soon.